Is your doctor a physician? Son of man is the great physician. So is your doctor a physician? In Sirach chapter 38, it says to honor a physician according to your need of him with the honors due to him for Yahuwah has truly created him for from the most high comes healing. So if we look up physician in Greek, Strong's 2390, heal generally of physical, sometimes of spiritual disease. But then it also says to make whole, to free from errors and sins, to bring about one's salvation. And it means cure. A physician is here to cure by curing to be free. Well, according to modern science, 80% of diseases are incurable. So the doctors in the world do not make people whole, and they believe that there are 80% of diseases are incurable. But a physician is somebody who makes one person whole by curing them. But medical doctors say that disease is not curable. In Sirach 38, it says, He that sins before his maker, let him fall into the hands of the physician. Because remember, a physician helps to free you from errors and sin. So the physician would say, are you following the Ten Commandments? Are you keeping the seventh day set apart? Are you not laboring? Are you not cooking? Are you not going out and buying? Okay, that would be freeing somebody from sin to make them whole again. That's what a physician does. Then in Sirach 38, chapter 4, it says, Yahuwah made medicines out of the Eretz, and a prudent man will have no disgust of them. And a physician makes apothecary. So that is our medicines out of the Eretz, out of the earth, which would be herbs, fruits, and vegetables. I want to tell you a story about two pregnant women, different stories. So there was a pregnant woman who knew about health healing and went to the OBGYN and the OBGYN prescribed her vitamins, prenatal vitamins, and they were colored. And the woman asked the doctor why she would want her to put colored dyes in her body that could harm her baby. And why would she not tell her to just eat whole fruits and vegetables and herbs? And the doctor shuts the door and says, I would lose my license if I told you to eat fruits, herbs, and vegetables and not take these supplements. That's not a physician. A physician brings people to correction of their errors and their sin and it and not eating right, we are supposed to take care of our body before we get sick. And I will show you that in a minute as well. We're not even supposed to let our bodies get sick. So then um, my sister had gotten pregnant and um, went to the doctor and the doctor shot her up with a vax and I went ballistic because at that time I was awake to the ingredients. Why would they put those ingredients in a pregnant woman's belly? And so I went to the doctor and I asked her what shots she specifically gave my sister so I could look at the ingredients because I know these ingredients are toxic. And the doctor said, oh, I don't know. We don't have that shot available anymore. I was like, what do you mean you don't have that shot available anymore? You don't have it written down which shot you gave my pregnant sister? And the doctor was like, oh, I'll be right back. And then came back. She's like, no, we're fresh out. We don't have any more of those shots in um, the office. So I can't tell you. I was like, are you for real right now? My sister is pregnant with a baby. And you put things in her and you don't even know what they are? Family, this is not a physician. Physicians heal. Physicians don't put poison that they don't know what is in it into a woman's body. Shame on them. Right, and the physician also gives you medicines out of the earth. Doctors get zero to two hours of nutritional training, so they're not even getting trained. And if we look at Sirach chapter 38, verse 9, My son, in your sickness, do not be negligent, but pray to Yahuwah, and he will heal you. Put away wrongdoing and order your hands correctly and cleanse your heart from all manner of sin. And that is in alignment with what it says a physician does.
Son of Man says, I have not come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. Those who are well do not need a physician, but those who are sick. In John chapter 5, Yahushua, the great physician, heals a man. And then he says, see, you have been made well. Sin no more so that no worse falls befalls you. I was sick for 30 years with incurable chronic pain and disease, and I've been completely healed by the great physician because there is no disease in a bowl with the great physician. But with the doctors of this world, oh yeah, it's all incurable. They can't do anything. They can't deliver you. They can't heal you. No one can deliver out of the most high's hand. So it's illegal for a doctor to tell you to eat healthier. So have you ever heard a doctor ask you if you follow the Ten Commandments? Never once. Never once. They prescribed me pharmacia. They prescribed me the W craft, the scans, the injections, the shots, the pills. They tell you this is you. They don't say that you have to have faith in the Most High. They actually pledge an oath to B-A-A-L. So is B-A-A-L your Elohim? Because he's not my Elohim. And the word says not to make any oaths to any other people. So they're pledging an oath to a false mighty one. And so a physician is somebody who helps set you free from the errors of your sins so you can be made whole again. That is what was making people whole in the good news. True deliverance happens when you stop sinning. So your doctor would have to free you from your errors and your sins to bring about one's salvation. And that is what the great physician is here for. And he's also here too. If you believe it though, most people believe the lies of their doctor that it's incurable. And so whatever you believe in your heart is true. And that's why people don't heal because they just believe in their heart with their doctor who doesn't, who's not a physician, not a physician. They just say, oh, they did everything. I did all their witchcraft. I did all their pharmacia. I did all their scans. You need to read the word. That's what heals us. And do the word. Being a doer of the word. And that's where I saw in health coaching school, a lot of people didn't get any um, healing. is because they just didn't do what we were being taught. And I was like, well, why aren't you feeling any better? And then I'd be like, well, do you chew your food? And they'd be like, oh, no, I couldn't do that. That was hard. I'm like, oh, do you eat this? They're like, oh, no, I, I can't eat that. That's, I got to... So it's like they weren't doing anything, although they were doing all the reading and going to all the schools. They had a lot of knowledge, but they weren't doing it. And that's why we're supposed to be doers of the word, not deceiving ourselves. The book of Sirach's so good because the doctors of this world literally tell people to gorge meat. And literally in the book, it says, in a multitude of meats, there will be disease. And what I learned is that parasites gorge off of meat. The worms are killing us, and we're just fe fueling them every day by gorging our meat. Because the world taught us to gorge meat. And then, even if you don't sleep, your doctor will never say that you have severe disease. But the Book of Sirach says it. In a severe disease, sleep will be broken. A lot of people don't sleep. Actually, most people don't sleep. Sirach 18.21 Humble yourself before you become sick. In the time of sins... Show conversion, which is a change in your heart, a change in your mind, a change in your conscience, a change in your soul. Take care of your health before you are sick. Sirach 1919. Learn before you speak. Take care of your health before you are sick. Before judgment, examine yourself. And in the hour of visitation, you will find forgiveness. Hallelujah.